you want to play peekaboo? What? Do you want to play peekaboo? You ready? Thank you. <gasps> peekaboo. <gasps> peekaboo. <laughs> you gonna laugh like me? <laughs> Give me a kiss. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Yeah? <laughs> Kingsley has just started to learn how to talk, like lots of words. He, he basically repeats what I say like the next day. All right, you say a lot of words now. Anyways, what do you want to tell everybody? Give me a kiss, 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 no kiss. Do you want to say, are you a good boy? You camera shy? What do you want to do? You want to go take a bath? It's a little bit chilly out. Anyways, I'll stop babbling on. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. That was Kingsley, my king parrot. If you didn't know who he was, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And today I wanted to make an educational video. I wanted to show you something that I learned about uh, eight, nine months ago um, when I was at the vet with Kingsley. Kingsley, excuse me, come on. He's trying to tell everybody everything. So I just wanted to show you something that's really important to know, especially if you have an African Grey or an Amazon or a King Parrot or other birds as well. It's um, very important to know. Anyways, I learned something new that day and it was kind of frightening at first. And um, once the vet reassured me that uh, everything was okay, then I was okay with it. But um, anyways, I'm going to show you. I brought Kingsley to the vet. This was last January and because he had some skin issues, which I might make a video on that if you really want to know. Kingsley had a mysterious illness on his skin that we never even figured out what it was. He's all better now, as you can see. He's really nice, but I was so worried about him. So anyways, I just wanted to show you something that um, happened at the vet. And um, <laughs> just for your knowledge, are you gonna, oh, you're gonna do, I know my hair's a mess. I've been gardening and it's windy out and look at it. You wanna fix it for me? All right, yeah, go put some poop up there while you're at it. Give me some highlights. <laughs> he, used, he used me as a perch and went up there. Anyways, let's get to it. So I am gonna show you what happened at the vet and then you can let me know if you ever heard of this. All right, let's get started. If he's, if he's using it as a, as a weapon to to damage the skin, then, oh, I, I, then I want to blunt right. the weapon. Yes, yes. Now, you know as well as I do, when you blunt that up, it's going to be sharp in a week and a half yeah. uh, anyways, right? So, yeah. So it's always sort of a temporary measure. Yeah. yeah. What is this eye? What's that coming out of his eye? Oh, so what happens with some of these guys is you get a little bit of a blood tear. Oh, what is that? And isn't it weird? Well, come. Because they, they're, it's this, when, they're, when they're in my hand, not all of them and not all the time, like you've probably never seen that before. No. The odd African Grey does this. Oh. Uh, the odd Amazon does it. And it's usually when they're a little bit worked up, although your bird's fairly calm here. Yeah. It's not because of her t her tightness, like she's not holding too tightly here. Okay. Okay. But it just is a little bit of weeping of the capillary bed in the conjunctiva of the eye. Does that make sense oh, to you? Okay, but it's and normal. It's, you're it's, saying. It's, it's accepted as um, a possibility when we're holding them. Not entirely normal, but it, but you're not going to have any issues when you go home. It's okay. just here. It scared me. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was hemorrhaging or something. So the African greys do that as well. Yeah, greys do it. Oh wow, I never it's heard It's often before. the bird that's really angry. Oh. And, and clearly your bird's not angry right now. No. <laughs> oh, it's so okay. So what did you think about that? That was a blood tear. So basically crying blood. Um, it really frightened me. I thought he was hemorrhaging. And I tried to keep calm, you know, I was filming at the same time and I was my heart was beating. I thought, oh my gosh, because Kingsley was in for a skin infection and that's, um, they were trimming the beak because he was picking at himself and he wanted to, um, you know, just 
take the, the point off and, and, and clean the beak up, he had some weird peeling on his beak. So that's what the vet was doing um, because he was in for another issue. But uh, Kingsley, don't block the camera, sweetie pie. Come here, honey buns. Anyways, I thought that was interesting and I thought that everybody who studies birds or knows birds or has birds is very important to know this, especially if you're going to be a vet going to even school or just learning about birds in general like I do. I love to learn everything and I love to share it with you. So let me know if you like this video. Obviously, well, no one likes seeing a blood tear, but wasn't it very interesting? No harm done. He's fine. He's here today. He survived, right? He survived. He survived. Yes. No kiss right now. Yeah, he survived. And uh, yeah, so that was it. So I do have a full video on the, um, the vet examination of a few of them. So um, let me know if you want to see a video on his mysterious um, skin disease. He was in very, very poor health, like about how long ago, Kingsley? I don't know, four or five months ago, very, very poor health and um, tried many, many things to get him better. And anyways, if you want to see that, let me know because it'll take me a long time to make. And uh, that way, if everybody wants to see it, I'll make it. If not, I won't make it to waste my time. But anyway, it's a very educational video as well to learn about, about the skin. So um, it's very important to know everything about birds and what can happen. And that's the first time I've um, seen this. And I've actually heard of a blood tear, but I never really looked into it because, you know, I didn't think it was a thing or whatever. So anyways, hope you learned something today. And um, <laughs> he loves doing my hair. Hope you learned something today. And if you want to watch more educational videos, just look at all the links down below in my description and I do have a playlist on Kingsley on vet visits and health and all that so I'll put it all down below in the description all right so I will see you in the next video bye ouch Kingsley are you a good boy you want to say goodbye what do you want to do you want to play hairdresser today oh my baby oh there comes a pigeon <laughs>